What's up guys, Windstorm here, bringing you guys a uh, gameplay on Resistance Team Deathmatch uh, using the Scar L Suppressed with uh, oh, Kick, I think. Oh no, with uh, Damager. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, FMG. But uh, in this gameplay I'll be talking about Modern Warfare 3 and also uh, I apologize for the Don't videos where I'm like chewing gum and like, yeah, just kind of bad videos um I also I just noticed um in this video I was in a party and uh I forgot to uh mute the party or go to game chat so you guys may hear some stuff you guys don't want to be want to hear pp90 m1 such a nice gun ACOG's pretty shit on it but overall I like the gun you're gonna see this guy fail epically with it he's using the same gun and uh, this gameplay is not that good, it's just that uh, I haven't been playing much and I've only played a few times and uh, there's only two gameplays that I have right now. This is, this is a 15 and 1 gameplay and there's like a 16 and 12 I think. But uh, so in this game, um, I'm going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 and uh, how people rated it and uh, why I don't like it. And if you guys haven't checked out my giveaway yet, go check it out. I'll be giving away Modern Warfare 3 for PS3 or Xbox or PC so you guys go check that out and the videos where I don't do such good commentary don't dislike them because sometimes I just don't want to and hopefully you guys love me because you know I love you but um Modern Warfare 3 on metacritic.com uh, it's been getting low scores like 2.0 it's like the average is like 3.3 or 2.9 or 1.6 or whatever but it's really low and uh, it's gone to the point where the Modern Warfare 3 developers uh, Sledgehammer Games uh, quote uh, Glenn Schofield you know what I'm saying for this break well he's, he went on Twitter and he asked the uh, Call of Duty fans to support the Metacritic uh, it's uh, been given a 2.7 on Xbox 360 2.0 on PS3 1.5 on PC but that is, that's out of 10 and that's for the user reviews not for the uh what it's what's it the uh, review from the company i can show you guys the the reviews from companies there's the uh, os xm 95 out of 100 game trailers 93 out of 100 GameSpot 85 out of 100 euro gamer 80 out of 100 the 80 out of 100 so 8.8 8 out of 10 I would go with that maybe, but I'm pretty sure it's not 95 as high as 95, and I'm pretty damn sure it's not uh, perfect. Because I'm 100% I'm sure it's not perfect. I forget which company did it, but some company did it. Um, now, uh, I'm going to talk about the little bit of corruption maybe in the gaming industry with the views. Uh, if like a lot of people look look to the reviews when they're buying a game even though I know Modern Warfare 3 is kind of the exception because you're, event, you're obviously going to buy it because all your friends are playing it and stuff but um you never know when Activision or Sledgehammer Games or whoever um, Infinity Ward maybe they're paying IGN or paying this other company or paying the person reviewing it and I don't know where the hell this guy disappears through but he just disappears and you, you can't you you can trust the reviews, but you'll you'll you won't know if the game's good unless you play it. Like Black Ops, so the same thing. Not um, like they give it a high score, but the game wasn't actually that uh, good. Like it was good, but multiplayer was fine. Not as bad as Modern Warfare 3, but you know. And then Modern Warfare 3, uh, I think they messed up the review a little bit. Like the campaign, I would give maybe 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty good, like compared to like. Uncharted's 10 out of 10, so 8.5 is not bad. Also, my favorite gun in this game is PP90M M1, rapid fire uh, silent. I haven't unlocked it, but I just like it. I've used it a few times. And uh, there's yeah, there's that corruption and stuff. Um, the survival mode, and I haven't played Special Ops, but I play survival. That's all I play, pretty much. Um, so call me the syndicate of uh, uh, survival, man. the best. But um, if you guys want to play with, play with me on Xbox, just you know, message me up, you know. Uh, and also, 
survival mode, I would uh, compare to zombies. Like, if I were to give zombies 9 out of 10, but like, because I'm pretty sure no game types didn't get 10 out of 10, I would give uh, survival uh, 9.1 maybe. Because zombies is a lot more fun, but it's a lot repetitive. Plus, you can have four players. Survival can only have two, which is okay with me, but I wish there's more. Plus survival, uh, there's like AI, even the little AI shit, somewhat, it, it's pretty like, you know, it's okay. And the game's a lot funner because there's a lot more shit you can do, like kill streaks and all this other crap. Yeah, and um, you guys see the low score on Metacritic and all that from users because not that many people like the game because it's not fun. Like I've said before, the maps are not fun. The maps are shit. Like, look at this triple quad. The maps are shit. Like, just, I don't know why. I just, people don't like it, man. I just don't like it. Compared to Modern Warfare 2, the maps, I'd give like 2 out of 10. Modern Warfare 2 gets 8 out of 10. Or, like, so let's say 9 out of 10 because the maps are actually really good. Black Ops is okay. Like, there's no rust type of map on this. There is dome, like my friends were saying, but. That's not rust, man. That's. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Windstorm out.